Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Avery LR32 here bringing you guys the first place Mystic Mind Burn. I can't even say it with a straight face. First place YCS Rio Brazil deck profile. So smash the ever living boo boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to bullshit you. I'm just going to jump right on into this deck profile. This man, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. I'm just going to pronounce him by his last name because I don't want to butcher it. His last name is Lima. Mr. Lima ran it on back like a football in American NFL football for the freaking touchdown and was the one Mystic Mind Burn player to win YCS Brazil. This is the first Mystic Mind Burn victory since the deck came out. Uh, or since, excuse me, since the card came out in Dark Neostorm in 2019. So let's go ahead and dive on into this very interesting hell of a burn build. Um, so right out of the gate, he's playing one copy of Card of Demise, three Cauldron of the Old Man, three Dark Ruler no more because it's Dark Ruler, three Demise of the Land, and of course the Wind Condition, three Mystic Mine. I'm not going to get into any debates about play the outs five head or just play around it, be prepared for it. I'm not going to get into any of that because I'm tired. I didn't think that this deck list was going to come out tonight, but it did at 20 minutes ago at the time of me making this video. So I'm just going to leave this here and let people argue in the comments section. <laughs> uh, and then he's playing one day of peace. So both players draw a card. Neither player takes damage to the end of the opponent's next turn. Cannot tell you how many times I've played this fucking card and people go, Ooh, attack for game. And I'm like, ha one day of peace. And I'm like, oh, I guess I just kind of poop my pants now. Yeah, you do, pimp. Uh, and then we're playing three duality and three extra with one upstart goblin. No pot of prosperities. That is really interesting, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you would think that maybe he, you know, should have cut the One Day of Peace and the Upstart Goblin for, like, at least two Prosperity or maybe even cut the card of Demise. But no, he said, screw it. We're going full gas to the floor. We're going over the speed limit in this bitch. <laughs> and uh, he, he went with these. And really upstart in the grand scheme of things it's not terrible plus keep in mind too you can burn with cards like ojama duo and ojama trio so giving them a thousand really isn't that big of a deal plus with cauldron you can gain your own life points back so you're still higher than them in case you're going to time or you can just burn them if cauldron has enough counters anyway moving on to the traps we have three dark bribe three goes and match one metaverse three ojama duo and three ojama trio so ojama duo you special summon two ojama tokens they're beast light level two attack zero defense a thousand to your opponent's field in defense position these tokens cannot be attributed for a tribute summon and each time one is destroyed its controller takes 300 damage during either player's turn except the turn this card was sent to the grave you can banish this card from your graveyard special summon two ojama monsters with different names from your deck that's really never going to come up you just use duo and trio to special summon out tokens to the opponent's board um trio basically does the same thing as duo it summons out the tokens they can't be tribute for a tribute summon each time once destroyed controller takes 300 points of damage so you know you can activate mystic mind even if they have no monsters you say screw you duo or trio and you give them to the opponent you don't care if they link off with them even if they're able to because they've already established monsters on their board they got to do something with them or they're just going to take up space three rivalry of warlord and three solemn judgments so he's going with six minus the mystic minds and the dark rulers i suppose six floodgates here um with the gozen and the rivalries this is really interesting because you know, even my dad, who is the OG Jeff Leonard, as we talked about on the channel before, ha is main decking three Curse Seal, and even like Goddess Scald. We saw a lot of Mystic Mind Burn builds up to this point playing Goddess Scald Oracle so that you could control the cards that the opponent draws. But instead, Lima decided to go with Gozen and Rivalry to shut down the opponents so that they can't summon any monsters, um, or at least be locked into, you know, one type and one attribute. Um, that's not a bad go-to plan honestly like i remember when i was playing 60 card branded eldritch and i came in 27th place at that regional uh you should go check out that deck profile on the channel shameless plug um you know i was using triple rivalry triple goes with triple mystic mind and a similar concept is being applied here you know if you have goes and rivalry on the field and you've got them locked into one attribute and one type well they can't summon any more monsters unless it's that same attribute and same type plus with mystic mind well <laughs> they're screwed and especially if you hit them with like an ojama duo or an ojama trio you activate gozen and rivalry well now the opponent's locked in with those tokens they can only summon light beast types who the hell is going to be playing beast 
monsters that are light attribute. Like, nobody's doing that in 2022. <laughs> oh, man. And then the extra deck was just any 15 cards you want. The extra deck was irrelevant AF. I just threw in 15 random cards. You have this be whatever you want, boo boo, like real talk. For the side deck, we're playing three lava golems because we got to break apart boards. One D Fisher. I wish this in macro was at three, but I don't want to get flamed in the comments. One Feather Duster. One Terraforming. I guess, you know, in case you really need to get to that Search of Mystic Mine, I'm assuming this is like a going second card. Three Curse Seal. Three TC Boo because floodgates are good. And three Unending Nightmare. So you can pay a thousand life points, target one face up spell or trap on the field, destroy it. You can only activate this effective Unending Nightmare once per chain. So it's not once per turn, it is once per chain, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're going against something that's heavy back or like Elder Lich, this is basically your out to it. Curse Seal is basically an anti-side, side deck type of card. The opponent tries to use Twin Twisters. You can Curse Seal, they're locked out of it for the rest of the duel. A lot of people think that this is like for the whole three game set. No, 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 it's just for that duel. So like if, you know, you activate Lightning Storm on me and I activate Curse Seal and ditch a spell, negate and destroy it, you can't use Lightning Storm for the rest of that game. Once we go to the next game, obviously you can use it again. Again. TC Boo is interesting because, you know, if Rivalry isn't a good choice, if you're going against like Sword Soul or something or any other deck that just plays one type, um, even like Math Met because they are all Cybers, then you can just swap out to TC Boo's. Same thing goes for Gozen. That's really interesting. He really decided to go Floodgate heavy. And it's funny too because in his photo where he shows off his prize card, <laughs> he looked like he was really disappointed in himself. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, bro, congratulations for winning with Mystic Mind because that just means it's going to get banned because it should get banned because I'm going to rip my hair out and just like do something else with my hobbies if this card don't get banned. So it is interesting to see that Cauldron is the one win condition. There were people a while back like doing wave motion cannon with Cauldron and I've told the community even back then, you don't need wave motion. Wave motion cannon is a pile of booty booty butt cheeks. Cauldron is your best thing because you can gain life points and after you initially activate it and gain life points, then you just start burning them afterwards. It doesn't hurt you to go 500 life point gain and then start burning them uh, with an increase of 300 each turn. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is your first place Mystic Mine <laughs> Troll Burn deck profile. No silent wobbies to give to the opponent. Instead, we're going with duos and trios. No DD guides because we dropped that card a long ass time ago. And six negates in the form of judgments and bribes, which usually seems kind of low, but he's playing these other cards instead. Um, so, <laughs> shout out to my dad. Dad, here's your... Uh, Here's your Mystic Mind build for you for the Boca Raton Regional, assuming we don't get a ban list that bans Mystic Mind before then. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.